Well, Lake Michigan and our local rivers across southeast Wisconsin are gems that provide our area with important resources. And now a local group wants to keep these waterways clean. Joining us to talk about their initiative are Susan Greenfield and Jeff Martinka from Respect Our Waters. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tom. Uh, as we talk about rivers in relation to this drought to start us off, a lot of the rivers are, are pretty low this time of year, mm -hmm. right? Correct. And is that something that we should be worried about? Well, the, the, um, the problem is, of course, with fish habitat, especially with the waters being mm -hmm. so low. Um, a lot of, our, lot of our fish species are in real trouble looking for, for adequate water for, uh, 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 for, for them to live in. Mm -hmm. And you're behind uh, this Respect Our Waters campaign. What is your primary message that you want to get out to folks about water here in southeast Wisconsin? That they can make a difference to help keep our waters clean by actions they take in their homes or when they're out walking their dog, that they play a role in whether or not our waters are clean um, in our rivers and lakes. A lot of area residents, they, they tend to think in terms of water quality, um, in terms of sewage treatment plants or major industries, thinking that they don't have a role to play. And in fact, most pollution to our area rivers and to Lake Michigan comes from non-point sources, from things as simple as what drips from your car, what you leave behind after your pet, what flows off your yard. We want folks to make a connection between the way they live and the quality of our rivers in Lake Michigan. And you brought a few things to show us this morning. Let's start <laughs> over there by you, Jeff. This is a rain barrel, and what's on top of the rain barrel, and, and why have you brought this in? Well, the rain barrel is a 65 gallon rain barrel. It's actually a recycled food barrel. Um, we get these from the Metropolitan Milwaukee Sewerage District. And um, in our case, with our organization, we give them away in free drawings. The hose is attached. You can see right next to Jeff, that's overflow because a rain barrel can fill up very fast during a, a storm event. And that hose can then be directed to a grassy area or a garden to take the overflow. And while there hasn't been a whole lot of rain to capture this summer, uh, how can a rain barrel help protect our rivers and lakes? Currently in our area, there's about 17,000 rain barrels around, around um, the, the metropolitan region. What that ends up doing is holding up to a, about a million gallons of rainwater and then slowly dissipating that water over time. That's much safer in terms of our area's rivers than having it flash into, into um, into the, the uh, storm sewers. Okay, and I see here on the table you've brought in, uh, is it malorganite? Right, this is just as a, uh, to give people a sense that if, if um, treated properly, um, wastewater can have very useful um, uh, functions. This, this happens to be a malorganite garden product. We also brought some of the pieces of the campaign. What we're doing in area farmers markets and area concerts is giving people a sense that what they do has a role to play. And so as an example, as a part of the Respect Our Waters campaign, we're giving out free doggy bags to give people a sense that if they, if they act on behalf of our area rivers, water quality will improve. And we're using the, the doggy bags as a way to, to illustrate that. Just one of the many reasons that it's important to clean up after your pet. Oh, absolutely. We also brought um, here an example of a soil testing kit that's distributed by UW Extension. Too often people are going into fertilization programs for their lawns that really aren't necessary. This is an opportunity for people to pick up a soil testing kit, get that soil tested and determine if they need to be applying all those fertilizers because we are concerned that there is overuse and it's ending up in our waterways. Okay, Susan, Jeff, we're gonna have to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming in this morning and we'll put some more tips up online. If you would like more information about Respect Our Waters, just log on to our website, todaystmj4.com and click on links. Jesse